Elon Musk, he was at Twitter headquarters. He looks at all the engineering things, and they have three server farms, one in Portland, one in Sacramento, and one, I think, in Atlanta. He does the calculus in his head, and he said, we don't really need three different redundant server farms. And the engineers say, well, yes, we do, because we need backups and we need caching or whatever. And he says, no, you're not going back to first principles linking. Anyway, he decides they should get rid of the servers in Sacramento. Well, they say, fine, but that'll take six months. He said, no, you can do it in six weeks. And they don't know how to deal with him, because this is like a month after he took over Twitter, so they don't know this dude. They're saying, well, no, I'm sorry, Elon, we can't do it. And he said, you could do it in six weeks. By the end of the meeting, he said, you can do it in six days. He gets really dark. And he decides he's going to fire them. But it's December 23rd. It's like two days before Christmas. He does fire them. But the next day, Christmas Eve, he's flying from San Francisco to Austin, Texas to go home for Christmas. He's with two young cousins on the plane who are engineers. And one of them says, why don't we just take those servers out ourselves? Elon Musk makes a U-turn in his airplane, tells the pilot to go to Sacramento. They were already over Nevada. They land, they rent sort of what we call a U-Haul truck, and they go to the server facility. The guard there is like flummox. It's Christmas Eve, and they're forcing their way in, and they're looking at the servers, and one of the engineers said, well, we can't take them out because we need engineers to take off these elevated floors, you know, those floor mm. tiles. And Musk turns to his bodyguard and says, do you got a pocket knife? And he takes a pocket knife and pulls up one of the vents, rips up the floor thing, goes underneath the floor panel with a set of wire cutters and cuts the cable to the servers. And they start moving them out and put them in the U-Haul truck. And by the way, it's typical of Musk because it works fine for a few days. Then you can see the service getting a bit degraded, but then eventually it comes back. And he says, you got to take risks if, if you're not sort of causing 20% of the problems and the risk you take, you're not taking enough risk. But there it is, and they got rid of that server farm in Sacramento.